Hi, my name's Alex Rhodes uh, with the Green Edge Women's AIS Cycling Team. Uh, yeah, since we spend so much time on the road every year, we thought it'd be a good idea to sort of just run through some tips for packing light. Um, you can see here I've got uh, two, pa uh, two jerseys, two pairs of Knicks, uh, normally, oh, and obviously uh, dirty washing from training today. Uh, three pairs of Knicks and three jerseys will usually get you through a tour because you've got one to wear, uh, one dirty and then one spare. So. Yeah, and then uh, obviously team shorts, uh, very important. Team jeans, in case we go out to dinner. Uh, I've got two spare t-shirts here. I'm wearing another one. And um, yeah, obviously pyjamas, because Brady doesn't really like to see me naked. Um, undies. And then obviously it's always good to pack uh, things in little bags, because it makes it easier for trying to find things. So yeah, you've got undies in a bag, uh, shoes in a bag, cycling shoes in a bag and then toiletries. So yeah, um, now we'll have a look at things not to do. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tiffany Cromwell and this is how you should pack for a tour, or some people might disagree. So we have the nice area here, the cycling area. So we have a pair of shoes, you should have a spare pair but we didn't bring that this time. Two helmets, a couple of tyres in case the mechanic needs them, heart rate strap, laundry, oh, there's maybe one or two jerseys in there. I don't think there's any nicks. Oh, can I borrow some now? You have shoes. You need shoes for every occasion. So we have our heels in case we go out. You have thongs because we're Australian. You can't go out with thongs or flip-flops if you're somewhere else in the world. A few different pairs of sandals. We have team shoes, runners, a bit of different colour variety and Ugg boots. Could be cold here. We have a bit of underwear, some swimmers, both goggles with a one-piece in case you want to do some laps. We bring over here, we have a footy. Got to play some games. The supporters scarf, it's not mine, it's for somebody else. Um, some bed sheets, which <laughs> you don't know how the beds will be. We are saying the Ritz Carlton, so just in case they're terrible. Where else? We have a pyjama selection, so some silky, nighty, shorts and top, depending what you're feeling for, one for each night. Well, we have different watches, one for every day and a spare, green one for green edge. Selection of sunglasses with the racing, casuals. A bit of mix and match, jewellery, handbag, can't go anywhere without a handbag. All your electronics, computer, couple cameras. I do study sometimes, so I thought, just in case I get inspired, you know, there's books, don't know what they're for. We have Nespresso pods, I don't drink them. Um, decaf, does that work? Anybody? Bit of chai, most important thing. Tea, waters. Now, the most important cupboard. Our dresses, jeans, tops. So we have a few different coloured jeans to work with. You know, you might go out, you might want to impress somebody. I'm sure the girls will need to borrow some at some stage. Then we move to the bathroom, where all the beauty begins. So, the nail collection, green for green edge, green yellow, a bit of other colours, some top coats, makeup, never know. Uh, toothbrush, of course, and then our different skin regimes. You have shampoo, conditioners, face wash, body wash, hair straightener. I haven't done it today yet. Sunscreen variety. Then we have the body creams, the day creams, the night creams, all the... <laughs> Sorry. Then we have perfume, make sure you smell. <laughs> okay, we have your perfume, <laughs> some bit of deodorant, pawpaw, and of course some chamois cream because, yeah, you don't want any niggles down there. Who knows, there's racing, there's people around, anything could happen, you need to be prepared for all occasions. So now we've seen what not to pack, uh, pretty much the motto is pack light and she'll be right.